Welcome to the Art Gallery of Algoma's Inspired by Joy series. Today we will be making art inspired by Rucker Becker's work, Evening Paddle. Rucker is a local artist who creates fantastic and beautiful landscape paintings, mostly in acrylic paint. Today we will be taking inspiration from his beautifully painted sunset to create our own. Let's go through the materials we will need for this project. As this is a painting project, you may want to use a drop cloth on any surfaces you are working on to protect them. I'll be using a small canvas to do my work, but you can use a piece of cardboard or some thick paper. I do suggest if you're using paper to tape down the edges so that the paper doesn't curl as it dries. I've also got my paint for this project. I'll be using acrylic paint, and I'm going to be using the colors orange, yellow, red, and I have pink and blue to make a purple color. But you can use whatever colors you would like to make your sunset. You're also going to need black and white. Finally, you need to have paint brushes of different sizes, water, rags, and a pencil. Now that I have everything together, let's get started on our painting. I'm starting out by drawing a line about halfway across my canvas. This is my horizon line, where the land meets the sky and it will help me know where my colors are going. I'm also sketching in my plan for my drawing so that I know where I'm going to be painting everything, such as the land, plants, and my main silhouette, which I've chosen to be a turtle on the log but when making your own painting, you can choose whatever you would like. Once I've got an idea for what I'm gonna do for my work, I'm gonna start painting. I'm starting with the sky first, as whatever I do in my sky will be reflected in my water. Starting with the lightest color, I start near my horizon line. This is where the sun is, so the sky is getting the most light. As I move up the sky, I switch to darker colors the farther up I go, letting the colors mix a little to create a smooth shift between the different colors. For my sunset, I started with a bright yellow, then an orange, then I moved on to red, and I ended with a little bit of purple right at the top. But remember, like I said, you can choose any color you want to get a different look to your sunset. Just make sure that you're starting with your lightest and moving up to your darkest. Once I've completed my sky, I'm going to repeat the same pattern, but going down from the horizon line. Again, starting with yellow, then down to orange, red, finishing with purple on the bottom of my painting. This will make it look like the reflection of the sky in the water. With my sky and water all finished, I can now start painting my details. I'm starting out with the sun. You will want to use a white or a very, very light color as you want your sun to be much brighter than the sky. For my painting, I'm using white mixed with a little bit of yellow to make my sun look like it's really shining bright. I'm also going to use that same color and very lightly create a reflection of light on the water under the sun. To do this, I'm just gently sweeping the color across the area of the water that the sun is reflecting. I'm not making the edge of my reflection perfect or making the reflection look exactly like my sun. I just want it to be some light hitting the water. Now I'm painting my land and trees on my horizon line. I'm using black to do this, but you could also use very dark brown to get that silhouette look. Again, don't worry about going into too much detail or being too precise, as you really only need to have a simple outline. I'm also going to fill in my turtle on the log. To finish up, I'm going to mix some black paint up with water and lightly apply it under my land, turtle, and log to create the dark reflections in the water. Again, these reflections don't have to be exact copies, but just some general shapes that give the idea of the reflection. If you do this project at home, you can finish up there, or you can keep going and add clouds to your sky by taking a light color mixed with a little bit of water and lightly dabbing it into your sky. Once that's dry, finish off your clouds by taking a white or light color like your sun and adding a light line on the bottom of your clouds where the sunlight would be hitting the clouds the most. And there we have it, a sunset painting inspired by Rucker Becker's Evening Paddle.